Hi and welcome to another tutorial. This one will be a quick introduction to Thrive Commons. We are mainly going to focus on the general aspects, but keep in mind that you always have the knowledge base articles if you want to read more about specific options and features. Now, if you're wondering what will happen with the standard WordPress comments, once you activate Thrive Commons on your website, you should know that all the already existing comments will be kept and will be visible throughout your posts and pages. Now, the changes you bring to the WordPress comments, which are available here in the discussion section of your WordPress settings, will be inherited by Thrive Commons. Basically, the plugin replaces the standard WordPress comments from your website and you will be able to moderate all comments from one single dashboard, which is the Thrive Commons one. And also, if you bring changes to the Thrive Commons options and some of these options are found in the WordPress Commons settings, then the Thrive Commons options will overwrite the WordPress ones. So first things first, there are several easy steps to take before we will go into the main part of this tutorial, and that is to enable Thrive Commons on this website. Now, to do that, head over to your WordPress admin dashboard, and then here, under Thrive Dashboard, select Thrive Commons. Here in the general settings, you will have to make sure that this toggle is turned on and this says activate Thrive Commons site-wide. So it does exactly this thing. Now, another thing you can do here is to open a page or a post in this editor and here make sure that in the right sidebar under discussion, you will have this allow comments checkbox ticked. You will also notice that when you are editing a page or a post with Thrive Architect, there's this Thrive Comments element that you can use to display comments. So simply drag and drop it onto your canvas and use its options just like you would do with any other Thrive Architect element. Now back in our Thrive Comments dashboard, let's have a look at the key features you should know about. These are split into eight separate sections that you can easily click through. Here in the general settings is where you can access the most basic options for the plugin. Options such as allowing the users to comment only if they are registered and logged in. You can disable commenting on articles that are older than a certain number of days decided by you. You can also access some sorting options. You can allow individual sharing of comments on social media. And lastly, here you can enable this GDPR checkbox, which looks like this on the front end. Now in the following section, the comment conversion one, you will be able to decide what happens after a visitor leaves a comment for the first time and also what happens if the visitor returns with another comment. So this way when visitors comment on your post for the first time you can focus on turning them into users of your website and on the other hand when visitors return with more comments you can focus on offering them a continuous positive experience on your website. So what you can do is basically configure the thank you message that will be displayed to the visitors after submitting a comment so you can leave a simple message or allow them to also share the page or post on social media. Then moving on, you can display a list of featured posts that the visitors can browse after submitting the comment or you can directly send them to another part of your website by using this redirect option. So this works as a search bar and you can simply browse different pages or posts from your website. Lastly, you have the option of displaying an opt-in form and for that you'd have to head over to your Thrive Leads plugin and configure a Thrive box. This is a very simple and effective way of capturing leads using Thrive Commons. Now moving on to the common signing feature which allows guests to comment on your website. There isn't much to go through, so the users will basically be able to insert their website URLs. If you tick this checkbox, then you can enable social sign-in from here and this will allow them to comment using their social media accounts. However, you need to make sure that you have integrated with one of these two platforms through an API connection. These two will turn green if the API is successful. Naturally, in the customized style part of the dashboard, you can make various adjustments in terms of color, design, you can allow users to use their Gravatar profile pictures when commenting or even set a placeholder for those who do not have a Gravatar account. Most importantly, any change you make here on the left side of this dashboard will be instantly reflected in this live comments preview. So this makes it very easy to see what works and what doesn't on your website in terms of design. Next comes the voting and badges features that you can use to add voting options to the comments. So the users can upvote or downvote, you can decide if they should be registered or not in order to cast their vote and so on. 
then you can also award badges to moderators and to users and decide how the badge should look like and when it should be awarded from here, from this pop-up. Now in the notifications area, you can choose to send common notifications by email, but keep in mind that for that, you also need to set up a third party system. Now the notifications are split into two categories. Comment notification, so the users leave a comment and they will be notified via email when someone replies to their comment and post notification, so with this one the user will receive email notifications whenever a new comment or reply is added to that particular post on which that user has initially commented. Of course, you can customize multiple aspects of both types of notifications from here and I link here this article from our knowledge base which goes into more detail about how to do just that. Moving on in the comment moderation, you will of course be able to change the way in which the comments are moderated. So you can choose which user roles from your website can moderate comments and you can also automate the process of sending directly to trash or into queue those comments that contain certain words or URLs, emails and so on. And you can also decide what happens to comments that have more than one link in their content, which is a common characteristic of comment spam. And lastly, we reach the advanced settings where you can, for example, automatically link keywords in moderator replies. So for example, whenever the word Google is typed in a reply, it will turn into a clickable link. You can also customize and translate various labels. And lastly, use some of the page speed optimization features that you can read more about in this linked article from the top right corner of this page. Now, while we are still on this dashboard, there are two more things I'd like to go over, and those are the reporting and common moderation areas. So it's fairly simple to navigate through this dashboard, just as you've seen, and just as simple it is to switch between the settings area and the reporting one, for example, simply by clicking here in this green navigation bar. And then from the reporting section, you can go to the comments moderations one, and then back to the settings if you want. Now, let me just head back to the reporting area. And here you will be able to see graphs of all the comments that were posted on your website, vote engagements, as well as the most active commenters, the popular posts, the most upvoted comments, and so on. Now, I don't have any data logged in here, but information will show up here as soon as people would start commenting on my posts and pages. So from here, you can select the type of report that you would like to see, and then from here also decide the date interval and so on. And here in the comments moderation dashboard, which is the last one we will go through, you will have a clear overview over what comments are awaiting moderation, which are approved or pending a reply. You can easily approve or unapprove them, edit them in bulk simply by checking multiple comments and then deciding what bulk action you would like to apply. You can also delegate them to someone else or even save them as testimonials if you want. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can use Thrive Comments on your website, and these are the most general features and key aspects to take into account when using this plugin on your website. Now, I really hope you found this tutorial useful, and make sure to check out other tutorials of this type available in our knowledge base if you want to find out more about Thrive products.